Let's play some prank and fool others. So according to you, 1st April is only known as Fool's Day. Yes, what else could be more important? As you are interested in science, I'll begin with scientific events occurred on this day. Meanwhile, you two can search. Okay, you shoot first. Okay, fine. In 1960, the first weather observation satellite Tiros-1 was launched from Cape Kennedy and made the first television picture from space. It was the first of several launched in the Tiros program, named from its function television infrared observation satellite. and was nasa's first experimental step to determine if satellites could be useful in the study of the earth the goal was to improve satellite application for earth bound decisions such as should we evacuate the coast because of the hurricane tiros proved extremely successful for weather forecasting look what i found in 1948 alpha beth and gamma's famous letter to physical review was published The Big Bang theory had previously been around as a competing theory with steady state for a while. Their paper gave a hot Big Bang mathematical analysis of atomic events during the creation of universe and explained the relative abundances of light elements particularly helium in the universe. In fact, the paper was written by Ralph Alpher and George Gamma. The esteemed Han Beth was later persuaded as a co-author for amusing similarity to the Greek alphabets alpha, beta and gamma. Beth did actually made contributions in the later discussion. Oh, alpha, beta, gamma papers of Big Bang sounds amazing. Yes, it does. What have you got? In 1938, the first panda Su Lin to live in captivity outside China died after a twig lost in its throat. Keepers at Brookfield Zoo, Chicago, had added oak twigs to the panda's usual diet of bamboo, but the oak fodder proved to be too tough. Ruth Harkness, a remarkable young man had been socialized, had captured Solin on an expedition in Tibet on November 9, 1936, and returned with the baby panda to New York on 18 December 1936. Poor Solin. Did you know in 1904 Henry Ford was aged 39 when construction of the first purpose-built Ford factory was authorized by the stockholders? It was a long narrow mile style brick building with many large windows to light the interior and provide ventilation. After 4 years making a succession of models like B, C, F, K, N, R and S, retooling began in 1908. The Piquet Avenue plant became the birthplace of the world's most famous automobiles. Ford was already building a larger factory. But this car ran on petrol. In 1890, a decade before Ford's car An electrical trolley car was patented by Belgian inventor Charles Van de Poel. He had designed the first commercial electrical railway in the US, an intercity line running a few miles between downtown Scarton and Greenwich. Van de Poel received patents like an electrical railway, an electric generator, a carbon commutator brush, an alternating current electric reciprocating engine, a gearless electric locomotive and many more. He was really an amazing person to invent so many machines. In 1889, the first commercial dishwashing machine was marketed in Chicago, designed over the years by Joseph Cochrane. She was granted US patent on 28 December 1886. The company she founded to sell the dishwashers to hotel, restaurants and other commercial groups was purchased in 1920 by the Howard Corporation. They introduced Kitchen Aid, brand name that is known till today. In 1875, Sir Francis Galton introduced the first newspaper weather map using charts showing the areas with similar air pressure in the Times, London. He was also the first to place the study of fingerprints for identification on a scientific basis and so lay the groundwork for their use in criminal cases. Do you know any famous scientists born on this day? Yes, Alan Cohns was born on 1st April 1947. He was a French mathematician who won the 1982 Fields Medal for his work in operator theory. Your turn. Claude Cohen Tahard ji, born in April 1933, was a French physicist who shared the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1997 for developing methods using laser light to cool gases to micro Kelvin temperature range. Norman Abramson, born in 1932, was an American scientist who created AlohaNet, the first modern data network. which formed the basis of protocols essential in the ethernet now in wide use joseph e mure born in 1919 was an american surgeon who shared the nobel prize for physiology or medicine in 1990 for discoveries concerning organ and cell transplantation 
in the treatment of human diseases. Some other scientists born on this day are Abraham Maslow, Richard Sigmondi, Sophie Germain, William Harvey and Benjamin Outram. Comment your birthday, your friend's birthday or his dad's birthday to know amazing scientific events occurred and birth of famous scientists. Like, share and subscribe our channel for more awesome science news.